Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of L.A. Noir. Once again joined by Sarkis and Zamares. Hello. <laughs> hello. And uh, Mickey Mouse just uh, was, was hit in the nuts, so... Uh, <laughs> Get over there and see what you can find out. That, that's where that voice, voice came from. Sorry to inconvenience you. Sorry to inconvenience you. Uh, We're on it, Captain. Oh, man. So, Stone V report again. All right, it's all fine by me. I think you did it. Yeah, we're pretty, uh, yeah. pretty obvious. I swear. Yeah. We, we, we are GTA. And the longer the hot sheet gets. Oh, yeah. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. <laughs> I'm sure she'd agree with you. Wait, I, Passionate Phelps is married? Type like yeah. Passionate romantic You didn't even know, Alfie. fool. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. What, mate? Don't call me a fool, blood. She <laughs> <laughs> can't be a good stiff without a wife to ignore. Gotta have exactly. that. But I'm not even an alcoholic or something. What, what kind of weird detective am I? Not yet. I to spare the general population. That's how we do it. <laughs> well, the car should have, should have had a better turn radius. I wonder what Veronica so Lake would it have happened. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be standing yes. there. Just you hear whether they're making any progress? He was probably in the yeah, legal anyway. Seems to think they have it all wrapped up. <laughs> Take it easy. No, <laughs> I won't. Captain Donnelly seems to think they this have is LA, homie. Brown and green are sweating. LAPD, get out of the way. You live or die by the rules of the street, homie. Of course, it ain't nothing to play. Let's see. Something like that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, perfect. perfect. <laughs> Absolutely terrific driving skill. I know, right? Mm -hmm. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him! <laughs> Look how Joey just looked. Grab him, quickly. Remember, <laughs> he was even just still in like, uh, <laughs> what up, old boys? 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup <laughs> in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Because they, they could cut Six him off in, uh, in gas chambering. <laughs> <laughs> the gas chamber's always the answer. <laughs> Hitler to a Nazi Take this guy out. <laughs> what, what am I talking about? 93? Hitler was pushing. 1933. Let's try that. Lay into his wheel arch. Come on. Because then uh, Tupac did his, uh, his album when he had beef with him. 1993. <laughs> and then Hitler didn't like it. All right, <laughs> a couple of months over the speed limit. <laughs> I'll call it in. <laughs> some of these people are the out. Some of these people are really required to transport back to Central Station. Requesting a patrol unit. Put your hands where I can see them. Yeah, you just. Why did you run from us? <laughs> I saw the car in my rear view mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. Correct. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out you of your monster. Mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Oh, snap, we got the wrong guy, boy. No. Date. Looks like we'll have some questions. Automotive company, okay. Automotive. So it's probably a stolen car. It was sold to the automotive company, and then it was resold. Or maybe it's just more, they are just multiple cars in combination. Sold multiple times, maybe. All right. Um, what if we fly it? Questions, yeah. Mo motive. I, I think, well, th this just... this dude seems like a, sort of a loser, kind of a college <laughs> kid. A low down boy. Twenty four, Cliff Harrison, Whitey. If if he was born uh, born a little later, he was probably he was he's probably gonna be a school shooter or something. So I think I think it's a motive for flight. Yeah, that's right. Let's start with that. Harrison, one. Sure, sure. No, nothing like that. Well, what was the question? Yeah, whether he has a criminal report, but he doubt. No, see well, he's, he's his face. He, it's, looks, uh, he doesn't have any emotion, so it's the way truth. Too young. <laughs> you expect no, it's wrong. Is that so much to ask? Oh, I fucked up. All right, we've. <gasps> I fucked up. I this this Zamaris. Ne next time, okay. Next question, Zamaris gets gets to pick. I, okay, I, okay. I'm just gonna gonna. Hold up on them. You can report the stolen boy. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Well, seems, uh, seems oh wait, I, 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 I'm shutting up. I'm. Uh, 
True. Well, you, can, you can join in the excursion. True. Uh, no, we're just gonna listen to Maris. <laughs> okay, sorry. Truth. 100% truth. All right. And the ownership papers? Woo. From nice the same one. place. All right. Let's see. Cliff Harrison again. This oh, is yes. a forgery. It's top notch. Good old Cliff. This will need to be traced. Kaiser Fraser, the sixth. Sedan. Take issue 47. Well, it's 47. Now we know. Oh, and this is an empty one. All right. Interesting. <laughs> It's fine by me. So the uh, last question, vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Coombs, sounds like, like, like Coons. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> it's black people this time. <laughs> so uh, the truth? True. Yeah. yeah. And he made out the bill of sale yes. personally? Nice. Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, well, two out three. downtown. Seems you gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Oh, right, oh, right, you know who my yeah. father is? Why? It's just a crime. You need to get to Coombs Auto and Grand, check Grand Theft Auto is a crime. Story. Yes, it's a, it's a separate fanny. That's why the games are called Actually, Grand Theft Auto. Yes, 100%. Mm. Why is it called Grand? grand? No, I, I mean, theft out of the right grand. That, that's, that's legit what it's called. You know what? I think he's oh, telling the truth. I don't make up the, the English language, so. Uh, Some of the most convincing English. people you will ever listen to are born liars. Probably. Usually, why would it be something different in Britain? Maybe it's a state of class. But maybe Grand Theft Auto is, is meant for like stealing loads of cars. People oh, was, 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 is that true, Ruben? Like yeah, is he is. part of a bigger, oh. bigger car stealing like scheme? Nah, he's you see, so he just is oh, oh, driving around in a unique area. So actually, it's Amaris. Uh, Carcass and I were talking about it, and I get it. You see, what do you think about making this a regular kind of thing? And assume he's got to be in it. More than happy to be a detective live stream setup, for example, something like that. Because after the LMR, we also could play the show of home games. And then we actually have to pay attention, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that's I'll try, but we definitely can. Oh, God. Please. Because I, I think I think I think is something single like to, it takes like 20 hours to finish. So yes. we can, we can go on for a while, at least. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. That's less his daddy plays golf. Right idea, right? In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman. The crime-solving channel, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Again, I guess. Um, where are we going? The ultimate, yeah, the automobile thing. Oh, auto something. Okay. With Mr. Coons or Combs. Great Coons. cars, great prices. Coons. Coons. Atomy Company. But how many illegals are working here? Well, all of them probably. <laughs> all two illegal immigrants in the 1940s. <laughs> Not one. another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Shut your mouth. Detective <laughs> LAPD, mouth. are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs. He looks a bit too, a bit too, uh, too happy. Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. Coke. That's a joke. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're arresting you for I bad humor. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Green. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Oh, he's gonna they make a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jolly old good days. <laughs> That's a joke too, son. Oh. Nope. Do you mind if I shoot this guy? Get my <laughs> no, put him in a gas chamber. <laughs> So basically, he's a, he's a real life cartoon character, pretty much. He didn't even he's try to run. Whoa! What, what a nasty nice guy! Here it is. Got the something. original pink slip there too. By the way, this is one one tiny office. Is this that, that whole entire building over here? That, that's all that this car dealership yeah. has. He's got to stay positive, otherwise, uh, otherwise he probably shoot himself. Uh, 
Goes your business so crappy. Maybe Harrison, all right. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Uh, take the, the date. Look, we, luckily we don't have to read the whole thing ourselves. The game will just uh, do it for us. Oh, that's, 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 that's really nice. Gene Archer. Gene Archer. Archer. Hold up. Dead age, 46 right? North Fremont Avenue. Owner Gene Archer. A female car thief, maybe. Gene? Is it? Yeah. Gene? Gene Gray from the X-Men. <laughs> All right. We have a couple of questions. Ooh, interrogation right, again. Shoot. So, Mars, we're going to need your help, boy. Description. Uh, details of transaction. Let's see. Details Can of you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. Oh, it wasn't. Uh, I think you were. F we're switching back to Dutch mode, but uh, it works in English too. Yeah, <laughs> is that great? But uh, what what did he say? We gotta gotta pay attention again, boys. Boys. Oh right. Uh, he's probably telling the truth. Well, he I has he has no emotion on his face whatsoever. Yeah, so that's that's, that's no most of the time means so he's he's speaking <laughs> the truth. Nothing unusual well, about. All right, the car. three tones. Three really? notes. It's not really my usual Amazing. type of vehicle. Amazing. The price was certainly right though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A bag of a check. wet mice. She wanted it made what out of cash, thing? but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Dope. Pretty uh, brief, right? Check payment details. Get some details on the sucker. Here's the first uh, the payment details or first the suspect description? Payment details. What right, exactly Mars, you you're, you're the boss. Boss. Close of play on Friday. I don't know. Oh, he's looking around again. Can you view your notebook and check if it was really on Friday? Receipt. Hmm. 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 papers, receipts. I think we're, we're gonna go doubt. I think, pretty much. Does, does the check say a uh, date? Yeah, yes. but I can't can't view it right now. Oh. So I think we'll we'll just doubt, and if if it doesn't, um, if if he acts weird, uh, we'll just uh, take out the, the the check and uh, the payment check, and sure, just yeah. to hope for it, okay. hope for the best. Why didn't you pay? Ooh. Your nice. You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. So we were right, but uh, we didn't get. Uh, very many answers, but uh, whatever. Description of suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. I think, I think he's speaking it through. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> what was your impression? Oh, of her? yeah. Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the time. So she's not bone ugly, at least. <laughs> That's something, I guess. <laughs> Some very nice information. All right, let's see. Suspicious, suspicious transaction. Mm -hmm. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lie. <laughs> Lie. But why is it not <laughs> nice. above board? Because we just saw the guy running a. Uh, driving away with the car that he sold to a Gene Archer. Our the evidence is that he just, it looks like he just had a stroke. That's pretty <laughs> much our evidence. A bit, a view, a view notebook. Is there anything from the previous? Well, it builds sales, but he was just, just kind of being fidgety with, uh, when people are in a hurry, just, just uh, pay him a check. I think it's bull crap. I think he's lying. I think we should uh, take him down. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Uh -huh. a lie. You're lying, Coombs. You knew the car was stolen. You have some sort of crystal ball or tucked in your jacket not. that can help you prove <laughs> it? No, you. Yes. We have a stolen vehicle. Which one was it? <laughs> the one from the previous, uh, the male uh, that, that drove away. What was his Harrison's. Name? Is it Harrison? Good old Cliff Harrison. Cliff Harrison's ownership papers. You should try no, rubbing some oil on that hard head of yours. Oh, Are we done here? Oh, oh, oh. What, what Rex, banter. You had ownership papers of a car that's been sold to someone else. 
Hope you yeah, we, do, we, could, we, we, we could only track it from oh, Cliff yeah, Harrison to him, but to him, uh, to Gene Archer. But we don't have, awesome. actually have any there. evidence that he, he uh, shoot this guy. bought a stolen Please. car. You have a pleasant day. So we we only know that the, the car is, pro is stolen and that Gene Grey sold it to him. So our next lead is Gene Grey. Uh, Gene Grey, I mean Double Gene Archer. Okay. Who's it <laughs> fucking <of>? X-Men. <laughs> Can we steal this car? Score! Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let's see, Coombs Automotive. I like you thinking, Phelps. Call it evidence. The guy's an asshole. <laughs> Pick it up at the pound. <laughs> well, it's a pretty nice car, by the way. Nice, I love it. Here's a chicken and egg question. Whoops. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into it. You You've got it in asshole. for everyone to have your own. I've always got it in for cars. So kind of uh, sleazy, but. And why do they always <laughs> they called someone not, not completely bone out here or something. Maybe the more annoying. Look out! Oh, you fucked up his car. No, my car, so it doesn't matter. Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Parking meter destroyed. Thank me later. Friendly neighborhoods. Uh, Hopefully the damages are 50 percent off as well. So probably now we're gonna find a body, probably because I mean only a car theft. That's that's kind of kind that of too easy. Right? Oh wait, we already did the car theft. Uh, the, the against the Mexican dude. Yeah. All right, maybe not. Maybe not. Just a GS. Fake address. So now we gotta back, go back to the car lock. Uh, the the the, the lock. Uh, Coombs at a motor call. Let's go! <laughs> well, then he gets his car back right away, but we will probably arrest him. Oh, yeah. yeah. What an ass. We're just lying. Are you lying? This song over and over and over again. Jesus, <laughs> Just like a death punch song I was playing all the time. It's really called Lucky. It's Get Lucky. Alright, Ruben was wrong, as usual. So he's in you. Well, I, I said I didn't know that it, uh, yeah, no, how it's the song was called. Wait, and now? Now what? Can I sit down? No, you have to arrive at the destination. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he sits there, <laughs> comes back after an hour without saying anything. <laughs> Just sits down again and starts fiddling on his, uh, on his desk, alright. Oh, he also stole his car, so what's more? Yeah. Interesting. So, fake address. So, loser, please. Tell us uh, all your lies. Alright, fine then. Can I just can I just talk to you, homie? Homie, you <laughs> mano y mano. Oh, that's uh, that's fighting again. Yeah, yes. But uh, let's look for more evidence. Hey, you there, Mexican yeah. dude? Probably. Wait, what shit are we doing, <laughs> guys? Help! Show all clues. Um, let me just check. I hope not that it's a bug. No, it's not a bug. One clue remaining. Did you waste the point again? No, I didn't. Fool. <laughs> Who you call him fool, fool? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> oh, dude, we did like like a second ago. I don't know what that. Means. <laughs> it's fucking dead end, homies. <laughs> it's a dead Mr. end. So basically, but why can't we ask him about the fake address? Well, maybe he doesn't know. Oh, we probably have to use the phone again. Probably right. Um, At least that, that's what we did in the past, I think, when we couldn't find an address, right? I guess, yeah. I think that's we just it, have to go it, to it. That's your jam. Well, I think we're just gonna have to phone, uh, phone back to the station and uh, 
see if they can find out about Gene Archer or Gene Grey. But there's a, there's a payphone, I think. Yeah, they're everywhere. Right? Everywhere. Run forest. Isn't that the cop who solved Let's see. the big case and got it? special but it's everywhere. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Five star goddamn wedding. Requesting an APB oh, on Gene Archer, age approximately twenty five, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Messages for me, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Oh, new possible uh, new lead. Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks oh, for your thanks help. for telling me, homie. <laughs> but uh, this I will have to do for this episode today. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And uh, have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.